thank you. Gerald, wake up. Gerald, 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 wake up, please. Gerald, wake up. Uh, Gerald. 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 <laughs> Gerald. What do you want, George? Wake up. Gerald, Gerald, do you hear that noise? Gerald, it's terrifying. What is that noise? Uh, what noise? That noise. That noise, Gerald. It was, it went boom. It's scary, Gerald. What is that noise? It's when two heavy clouds crash into each other and make that big noise. I don't care what makes that noise or how it makes it, but I am absolutely terrified and uh, I need help. I'm scared. I don't like that noise. What is it called? It's called Thunder George. Well, well, guess what? I don't like thunder. Not a single little bit. Help me, Gerald. Help me. Just fall asleep and forget about it. Oh, Gerald, you're no help. I'm calling Mommy. Mommy! Mommy! Mommy, please come! Mommy! Mommy! Mommy, I'm scared of thunder. I'm really terrified right now. Oh, sweetie, there's nothing to be afraid of. Mommy, what are you talking about? There's everything to be afraid of. But mommy, mommy, listen to me, please. I don't like being afraid. It's not a good feeling. Please help me. What do I do? It's okay, sweetie. Sometimes I feel afraid. And you want to know what I do? <gasps> really? What do you do, Mommy? What do you do, Mommy? Well, I just read the Bible. And I go to the book of Psalms. And I read the chapter 91. You want to hear it? Please, Mommy. Please, I really, really do. Okay. Here, let's get into your little bed. And I'll read it to you. Okay, so the first verse says, Whoever rests in the shadow of the Most High God will be kept safe by the Mighty One. What does that remind you of? It reminds me of when you remind us to go under a coral on a sunny day so our scales don't get burnt. That's right, Gerald. Good job. In the same way, God will protect us from anything that may hurt us under his shadow, under his protection. Good job. Okay, let's read verse 2. It says, I will say about the Lord, he is my place of safety. He is like a fort to me. He is my God. I trust in him. What does this remind you of? Ooh, yes, yes. It reminds me of when Big Sissy had to babysit us one time. And guess what? We were playing fort that time. Remember, Gerald? And um, um, so, so there was this big fort. And we pretended it was our castle. And Big Sissy was the monster. It was a big, scary monster. And it had to attack us. And in order for it to not attack us, we had to go inside the fort so it could protect us. And Big Sissy didn't attack us anymore. Yes, George, exactly. In the same way you went into the fort to protect you from, from the monster, we can go to God to protect us from any harm and from anything scary that might get us afraid so you can always trust them no matter what okay so the next verse says he will certainly save you from hidden traps 
and from deadly sicknesses. So, what does this remind you guys of? Hmm? Ooh, ooh, this reminds me of Moses when, when he told the Israelites that he had to cover the doors with sheep blood so the, so the angel wouldn't kill the babies. That's right, Gerald. Good job. In the same way, God protects us, he covers us with the blood of Jesus. And whenever the enemy comes to scare us, to harm us, he won't do it because he sees that we're covered by Jesus' blood. Okay, now let's read the next verse. He will cover you with his wings. Under the feathers of his wings, you will find safety. He is faithful. He will keep you safe like a shield or a tower. What does this remind you of? Ooh, ooh, this reminds me of, remember, Gerald, when we went to the zoo, remember, remember, when, um, um, we went to the zoo, right? And then we saw, or oh, I think it was the farm. Yeah, it was the farm, and and we saw these little chickens, and the mama chicken was covering the little chickens, right? And with her little wings, right? Right? And also, I know that whenever a soldier goes out, he always wears a shield. And yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, George. Okay, so in the same way, God is protecting us under his wings. Whenever a little chick is scared or cold or hungry, the chicken, the hen, the mama chicken, she oh, she's always there for them. They she covers them under her little wings and gives them warmth and feeds them and they she also um always protects them too in the same way god will protect us from anything under his wings and yes a soldier always wears his shield because he needs to be protected from any harm that might come against him so the next verse says you won't have to be afraid of the terrors that come during the night you won't have to fear the arrows that come at you during the day so what does this remind you of this reminds me of that george is scared of the thunder <laughs> Okay, Gerald, we get it. You're so funny. I already know that God is protecting me at all times. Yes, you are scared of the dark God of you, but now you're not, right? Because God is protecting you. Now, since it is getting a little bit late, so we're going to jump around and basically the whole chapter is basically about not being afraid but i really want to read chapters all the way to verse 11 i mean it says the lord will command his angels to take good care of you they will lift you up in their hands then you won't trip over a stone you will walk on lions and cobras you will crush mighty lions and poisonous snakes so what does this remind you of? Ooh, ooh, this reminds me of when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the, were in the furnace, right in the fiery furnace, because and because they didn't bow down to the big statue, but but God sent an angel or I think it was an angel, to protect them. They didn't get burnt or anything. This reminds me of Daniel when he was thrown into the lion's den. The angel came and shut the lion's mouth so they wouldn't hurt Daniel. 
That's right, you guys. Did you notice that God sent angels to protect them, and he and nothing bad happened to them because they believed that God will protect them in the same exact way. No matter where you are or where you go, God will always send an angel right by your side to protect you from any harm. Now, if we go to verse 14, here's a little nice reminder that God sends to us. It says, the Lord says, I will save the one who loves me. I will keep him safe because he trusts in me. He will call out to me and I will answer him. I will be with him in times of trouble. I will save him and honor him. I will give him a long and full life. I will save him. So you see, if we go to God and we ask him to give us strength and to help us be brave, he will be there for us. He, he loves us so much, he doesn't leave us. So you don't have to be afraid. I have a little Bible verse for you to memorize. God will help you memorize it, and God will always help you remember this. But, a little sticky note or a little paper, and then you're going to write down this verse that I'm going to tell you right now. So you guys, go get your little sticky note. Alright, I got the sticky note, but now we need a pen. Oh! Okay. All right, Bobby. So, what do we write? Okay, so you're gonna write this Bible verse. It's in the book of Psalms, chapter 3, verse 5. It says, I lie down and sleep. I wake up again because the Lord takes care of me. All right, here I go. Do, 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 do. Psalms 3, 5. I lie down and sleep. I wake up again because the Lord takes care of me. Alright, your turn, dear Lord. Psalms 9, 3. I lie down and sleep. I wake up again because the Lord takes care of me. Good job, you guys. In this Bible verse, David was running away from an enemy army when he wrote this poem. You can read the story in 2 Samuel 14, 10 to 14. Now read Psalms 3. David is afraid of his enemies and what they are saying. Then he remembers that God will help him. He remembers that God cares for him even when he sleeps. You can write this Bible verse on a card and hang it up by your bed. If you are ever afraid at night, say the verse and believe it. It's true. Thank you, Mommy. Now I know that I don't have to be afraid because God is with me no matter what. And I will always remember this Bible verse. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. I'm glad you learned something new today. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.